Hey guys, thanks for coming to my channel. Here's where we spill tea on the New Testament. I'm Brie with the tea and my news is real. Not Israel, but like good play on words. This week's subject, we will be diving into Paul and 1 Thessalonians. What did he write to them? Why was he writing? So on. So we start back at Acts 17. Paul and his boy Silas went to tell the goodness of the Lord in Thessalonica. But it got messy. Caesar was big mad because they said, hold up. There's another king and it's Jesus. So try again. After establishing the church, uh, violence started to break out. So Paul and Silas packed up because they weren't trying to get caught up. Paul wanted to write to them sometime later, and he wanted to positively affirm them for their loyalty to Jesus after um, things start to go down. And basically, he was like, it's the faith for me. It's the love being shared for me. Your hopes are so high, it's truly inspiring. So it was his prayer of thanksgiving to them. That's how he started off his letter. Uh, one of his earlier letters. Uh, he then threw in some shade and basically was like, you're not praising Beyonce or anyone else like you used to. But um, good job. Keep it together, guys. Keep it together. So he affirms the Thessalonians, shares that they were like family, that they went way back. And Paul found out that... um. There was a lot of pressure after both of the both of them leaving and uh basically he felt pretty bad so he sent Timothy over one of his other guys to uh see what was going on with them and basically reported back yeah they miss you too like y'all got to see each other again but they also enjoyed your presence your company Paul then prays um he hopes that they uh, keep that energy and that they grow in their love. They grow in that faith and they grow in that hope. So some temptation was lying around them and it was sexual activity. And at the time, Jesus was really like, you should not be doing those immoral things um, because a booty call ain't worth disrespecting a brother or a sister. And that's awkward because that could have literally been what was going on, brother and sister, but we're not going to get into that. Um, so Paul encourages them to love and serve God, especially because Jesus would come back. They were like, what about our friends? Because a lot of them were dying off. So he assured them and was like, well, your friends are going to be the first ones to see him, if anything. They're the first ones who are going to rise up and gather with him in heaven, essentially. And um, Paul just pawing around, basically like, yeah, you know, Caesar, he truly coming through with that peace and security. But um, yeah, they already knew he was capping. Uh, cause only Jesus, only Jesus is the one who is going to provide that to them. So, um, using the dead friends and people as an example, he wanted to motivate them and push them through and basically say, keep that faith, keep that hope and keep that love. He went from acknowledging their efforts sharing things that um did go wrong and what they could avoid to do wrong and then he challenged them to keep on doing those things um but Paul's not slick he deep in his letter writing Paul um throws in some of that eschatol mm, eschatological motif to develop a powerful message and that message 
was being sit tight uh he'll be back so keep up the good work and know that at the end of the day he comes through period regardless so i hope that just gave you a sense of kind of one of the first letters that he wrote his relationship how close how um intentional he was because he truly wasn't going there trying to get money from them or anything like that. He wanted to love, serve them, and then was able not only to be like someone who taught them, but I'm pretty sure Paul learned a lot from them and from how dedicated they were into loving and continuing to praise Jesus despite of what Caesar and his people were going to do against him. If you like the positivity, you know, positive team, like, share, subscribe, uh, comment below, or you can always leave a thumbs down.